Yeah, so... You know this racing chess thing that's been going around, or racing kings. And here's the rules for racing kings, and basically you just want to get your king as far up the board as it can go. Um, yeah, this thing's been going around, I've been playing some games. Currently I hold the site's top rating at 1610 and spiking downward. Um, AI8 just beat me for the first time in a 20 move blitzkrieg in which I hung all my pieces, starting with my queen, and um, it just massacred me. And, you know, I haven't tried this yet. We're going to try this. What happens when I request analysis on the game? It says, the pin is mightier than the sword. Okay, that's all well and good. Um, but, all right, so hopefully the analysis will work. I don't need that open. Um, meanwhile, let me verify that I've... Am I live? I appear not to be live. Either that or something is messed up to... Okay, I'm just not looking at it correctly. Let me verify if I'm indeed live. I think I am. I'm pretty sure I am. OBS says I'm live. Oh, you guys can't see the graph here. All right, so here's the graph. White, as of move three, got some advantage and just ran away with it. Pun intended. Anyway, um, yeah, my first real blunder, according to the en engine, uh, was when I hung a piece. Um... Yeah, because if I'd just taken the bishop, it would have taken my bishop, and we would have been an A-OK -okay here. That makes sense. <laughs> I like this analysis. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I forgot how it displays here. Oh, that's the end of it. Really? What's this do? Oh, I can delete a variation if I want. That's interesting. That's new. Um... But yeah, if I just pun knight takes d3, would have only lost my queen instead of like losing everything. Um, things are pretty bad already, but yeah, the way I played it, I just hung my queen a couple moves later, and the rest is history. And so I turn to you, the loyal viewership. Can any of you defeat this behemoth that I've just created? Well, let's find out. Um, no, but seriously, probably everybody's off watching whatever, uh, like chess bra or something. And that's cool, because I need a moment, um, because I haven't had anything to eat in quite some time. So that's next on the agenda. Um, but yeah. I'm glad to see that uh, AI I just wrote as of today. I gave it a little thought prior to today, because I, well, most of which was just saying, you know, I probably don't even want to bother doing this. What's the point? Um, surely the game will be solvable, and we'll all be disappointed by it. But um, so far that hasn't proven to be the case. So... That's cool. Um, here, let's put this on Leechus TV slash Racing Kings. And that way, if anybody does choose to play against the AI, including me on a separate uh, monitor here, yeah. That that'll be picked up just fine. Uh, what else can I work on? What else can I code? Well, let me get my food and then we'll deliberate what else I could be doing. And by else, I mean like in addition to this stuff.
Do I have any Nightbot commands for um, for inviting people to play this? Let's see, if I type in racing, yeah, okay, well that's cool. Um, I could have sworn that I had some command to invite people to play. sure what to do. Uh, I'll probably code something and if people want it. Hey! Feel free to challenge uh, AI levels 1 to 8. I'll be back in a little bit here. That's the plan I think. Because I do want to see, like, if I'm... I mean, Stockfish at level 8 completely killed me, but... There's nothing to say that other levels won't be, like, horribly flawed. Okay. Yeah, that's cool, too. Actually, what I could do is import what are some of today's best Racing Kings games and analyze what's going on. That's a low effort activity. Something I can do um, uh, let's see, I think I can even do this all with the mouse. So let's go watch Lee Chess TV. Oh. Did not realize that linked to the local page. Hmm. Okay, well, actually, let me go to the leaderboard if that. I assume there is one. Hmm. Are there any 1900 rated players? Oh, there are a few. Whoa! Of course they're playing 01 and all kinds of silly time controls, but sure. Hmm. Let's grab this game between two high rated people and paste it in over here. Yeah, yeah, on my instance, games are rated. I see no reason not to count my games for ratings on my computer. Um, so if you want to get a rating, or if you want to help me figure out what the ratings of um, the AI should be, just go to the link in the stream title and challenge the AI. And your game will show up on my Leech Us TV running against Stockfish. And you can do an analysis afterward. Also, you can import games and analyze them and figure out what went right and what went wrong. 
like here, um, our 1900 rated champion play this move. Um, he played queen to b8, which loses in nine moves. And better was queen to e7, which wins. I mean, yeah, in hindsight, it's obvious that queen b8 just drops the queen, but... Um, Basically, your goal is like king of the hill chess. You're just trying to get your king uh, to a very specific square. In this case, you're trying to get your king to the other side of the board, starting at the bottom, going to the top. Um, and you just can't check your opponent. That's the only real restriction. And literally five minutes ago, I got the AI working and winning a game. So, if anybody's going to find bugs, it's going to be you guys. Um, or whoever plays it next. Over time, it will get more and more difficult and possibly reach a level where nobody can beat it. I don't know if it's there yet, but maybe, um, maybe you guys can help me figure out whether or not this is ready to be deployed this AI to the live site. Not that you can make that decision, but you could help me gather some information and I can pass that along to the Lee Chess staff. Oh, does the link in the stream title not link to, it should, well, I expect it to be is the same as this link when I right click on play with the machine. It should bring up this dialog and you should be able to choose any variant here. You'll note that you can also play Atomic or Horde or whatever you want here. Um, I've got AI to handle pretty much everything. Um, the one thing you won't see is icons for black and white and random side and I'm just not sure what's up with that. Um, or you could wait until... Um, I know that Lee Chess is working on creating tournaments that will be able to support the new variant. It's not done yet, but it's in the works. And once they've got that, I'll merge that change into my server. Um, you'll be able to play um, that variant in tournaments against the AI or against other players and rack up points on the leaderboard and all the fun stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure um, how to help you if you don't have the AI. I'm not sure if I don't have the AI means that I'm just not seeing the dialogue or I don't know, maybe that means um, you want to download the Stockfish and try it out yourself. Oh, you got everything other than Racing Kings. Okay, let me see what's going on on my server. I'll redeploy everything and see if that fixes stuff. might take a couple minutes to redeploy stuff, but um, if it all works, it's going to be worth it. might this not be there um, oh 
So next, after the, all the code is built, I need to stop and start the server. Um, I don't think I missed any steps. Hmm. Wait, did I do this step? I might have skipped a step. I'm not sure how vital that step was. It didn't stop my test, but it might stop others, so... Um, yeah, give me, I don't know, a few minutes here. Oh, you got it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Second try, you beat it. Very good. Um, and this was played, yeah, with the latest AI. All right, let me pull that game up. That's pretty awesome. Um, well done. Okay, how come that game didn't make it on here? Oh, it was an anonymous casual game. That's how it didn't make it onto the TV. I'm gonna have to fix the TV to show casual games, but um, maybe I can find it somehow, maybe? Um, well, you were playing against AI level 8, so I can look at AI level 8's profile. From there, <laughs> uh, okay, we verify that yes, indeed, anonymous player did win. Okay, and how did Stockfish manage to blow this again? Um, where was, there's one blunder by Stockfish. Rook takes B1. Checkmate's now unavoidable. Best move was Rook A2. Um. <laughs> oh, that is perfect. Uh, yeah, you beat it. Well done. <laughs> yeah, you tricked it because, it, yeah, King C7 and then suddenly, oh crap, how do I stop my opponent from getting the king to the other side? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well, that's hilarious. Well done. Um, uh, so, hey, you guys found the bug, right? That's what we're looking for. You, you found it, so. Okay, cool. Hello, I have a question. Did not get a response. Why can't there be a tournament by rating? Oh, um, so I have been recommending not just cutting off a tournament by rating, like, if you look in the Lee Chess forums, I, I've kind of given an answer. That now, I haven't said so on stream, and perhaps I missed your question on stream sometime, but... Um, let me see. In my forum posts, I could have sworn I've said, yeah, lower level tournaments. Uh, so here's the thread in Lee Chess Feedback, subject lower level tournaments. And I said... It's important to allow everybody into a tournament, but you can feel free to have sections in a tournament, um, but you don't want to decide like before a tournament starts who's in and who's out, because then there's all kinds of sandbagging problems. But um, yeah, I'm all for sectional tournaments where um, you, the lowest player isn't forced to play against the highest player or the highest half or third or quarter. Um, I think I've suggested this like five or six times in the forums, and it really hasn't gained any traction yet. But I think it would be a good idea. I have no idea how difficult it would be to do. Um, Alright, so are we on Leech's TV here yet? Um, oops. Yeah. I'm still. Okay, still my game is the last one featured on the TV. So, um, Chess Instinct asks, do I do coding? Yes, I do software development, which involves like design and coding and requirements gathering and the whole nine yards. I've managed um, software development from the start to the end of the cycle, including supporting customers and such and gathering new requirements. Yeah. Um, yeah, I 
I'm sorry that I'm drawing a total and complete blank on that, but yeah, that's, that is my opinion. And I know I've voiced it in the forums, and sorry if I've missed your question repeatedly. I, sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, I, my opinion is that there should be sectional tournaments. You know, how, like, when you go to over-the-board tournaments and they have, like, quads, or they have, like, tournaments that even have predefined Class A, Class B, Class C sections and such. I don't really care where the boundaries are drawn, although, personally, I think it's best to draw the boundaries based on who enters and put people into sections that are um, close rating-wise so you get good pairings. But, um, uh, I don't know, some people are of the opinion that, oh no, you should just never allow high-rated players into tournaments, or you should have tournaments that keep out all the high-rated players. I'm not sure if that's a good way to go about it. Hey, MC. Welcome. So, yeah, we are bearing witness to Stockfish uh, having some interesting ways of... What? Okay. Uh, that's illegal. Um, right? Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Uh, I am now thoroughly confused. Am I looking at the right game? I was going to say we're bearing witness to Stockfish getting reamed by human players who know what they're doing. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Did anybody else see that? Um, yeah, I, I don't remember. I want to say it was always called Racing Chess, but whatever. It, that's what it is now. Or, oh, it's called Racing Kings. What did I have in my stream, stream title? Did I mess this up? Did I call this Racing Chess when it's really Racing Kings? Yes, it's Racing Kings. Ah, uh, been up since like 3 a.m. Give me a break. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna update it now. There we go. Much better. And it's... yeah, cool. So here we have a standoff between... Oh, never mind, we've started. Um. So yeah, uh, we had one player already, at their second try, beat Stockfish. Uh, so I think that's a good indicator that there's still some issues for me to resolve. Never mind that, like... Maybe a half hour ago, I played a game against Stockfish. I couldn't get my king to the 8th rank, but Stockfish kept going around in circles and didn't bother winning the game. Um, after that, I fixed an evaluation bug, so now it actually makes some effort to win. But, um, yeah, obviously there's some things it needs to do better when searching. Um, it's very materialistic. And it needs to consider that a king going up the board is actually worth something. Resigns. Okay, I guess I understand that. There's, I guess, a really low expectation that Stockfish would ever stalemate. By the way, feel free to challenge other than level 8 also. 
Just because somebody managed to beat level 8 doesn't mean you have to try that challenge also. Ah, you crushed him on the first try. Very good. <laughs> I'm going to open this up over here where my chat window is. Ah, but how do I know this was you? No, of course it was. Um. Huh. So you just build this, like, defensive shell thing and just race your king upward. Okay. That's really clever, actually. That's actually a really good test game for me to go back and try to fix the AI later. Um, and I was trying to do something like that, but you executed it far better than I could. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm actually checking out my second display here. Um, it's on a Chromebook, so I can't actually put it up on the big display where the Lee Chess TV is, but I did see the game. And it's a very good game. And I've bookmarked it, and I'm analyzing it, uh, having Stockfish analyze it right now. And try to figure out, <laughs> okay... Apparently, it thinks that it was totally winning until the end. I find that very hard to believe. How does it... Like, until you played, um... Until after Knight F8, it thinks it's completely winning. That makes no sense to me. Okay. I'm going to have to go back and look at this one a lot closer to see what went wrong. The analysis is pretty hilarious, though. It wouldn't read your password. Oh, shoot. Well, hopefully it works now. I redeployed a lot of code. Not everything, but a lot. Um, so there is some reasonable chance that you might be able to log in the same way that Kazuva or Kazuva was also able to log in here. Um, and I was able to log in, so hopefully you have a good chance. Yeah, pro tip, um, Stockfish tends to play really well if it's up a queen. Hmm. Oh, have you created an account on this server? This isn't Leech Us, but it looks a lot like Leech Us. Like, even I had to create an account on this server, despite having a Leech Us account. Maybe I've got to, like, somehow make more obvious that this requires you to create an account. Um, hmm. Yeah. The deal is, because this is my server, um, I don't have access to all the usernames and passwords and emails of everything in the production site, which is probably a good thing. You know, that'd be a lot of liability on my head if something happened. Um, See, so yeah, I don't have any of that. So consequently, people have to create accounts on here if they want to play with an account. <laughs> Whoosh! Also, sorry for eating on stream. Hopefully I'm not making too much noise, but I know my mic picks me up really well. Oh, alright, thanks for stopping by. Thank <laughs> you. 
if you want, I could show you the game where Stockfish completely annihilated me. It was pretty funny. I tried to duplicate or play symmetrically, and then it took my queen. And then I thought, well, you know, maybe it doesn't know about the endgame condition. Not it knew. Just moved its king to the other side, and bam, that that was that. Well, I'm going to go advertise my Lee Chess TV thing here in the Lee Chess IRC channel um, and see how much interest I can garner in what I'm doing. Also, I wonder, is there some way I can view how many spectators there are? I suppose there probably is not. Um, like, when I'm in the TV view, I can't see spectators. At least from that TV, I can't. Um, I'll give it some time. People will show up. We have a nice little discussion and chat and stuff. Um. Yeah, in the meantime, Stockfish seems to be playing pretty well. Although it's not entirely familiar with the end game tip, um, the end game condition. I was gonna say tactic, but no, it's just a condition. Um. Oh, knight takes queens illegal. Ho oh, ho. So yeah, the key thing to keep track of in this game is how pieces are pinned. In this case, White's knight was pinned um, between the white rook and the black king by discovery. So there's two types of pins in racing chess, um, both of which prevent the piece from moving, um, or at least prevent it moving from directions that don't take the pinner. It's pretty funny how a piece of either color can perform a pin. Yeah, I was going to say, it was looking like black was running low on pieces there. Um, so while all that's going on, I'm going to keep repeatedly crunching that, um, that game that Chess Instinct ever so kindly volunteered and played for us here. And i um, going to keep crunching numbers on it until I figure out what the heck went wrong. 
because something went wrong and it's quite a game. And yeah, you don't have to play against level 8 if you don't want to, but it'd be cool. Eventually people are going to want to play against lower levels and use that to train them to play better without getting completely gunned down by the AI. So who's winning this game? Um, it actually looks pretty confusing. I mean, I guess white has a little bit more material, but black's king is one square farther advanced. So there's no clear-cut answer. In fact, oh, he can't do rook takes rook because of the king. Okay, yeah, I get it, I get it. I was gonna say, why doesn't black just take the damn rook? Now I understand. Oh, that rook on... That's amusing. So as long as the king stays on h2, that rook can just devour everything in the second rank. And only a bishop or a knight can take it. Oh, man. What a confusing variant. What a confusing variant. Well, should I give it another go? It could be fun to watch it beat on me for a while. Although, I don't know if that's going to affect its rating at all. Actually, yeah. Huh. I should play against level 7. It's level 7 can gain some of my rating points that I stole from level 8. That's what I'm going to do. Seven. Here we go. Knight uh, takes c2. Oh. Right, that actually exposes an attack by the rook. Um, should move my bishop so I don't lose it. Then rook g4. And... run. Okay, so plays rook b8, I play rook g8. Am I dropping a rook? There's a real possibility that I'm dropping a rook. Nope. Apparently everything's okay. Oh, I can't move my king. Um... 
Okay, so my pieces are pinned. That doesn't stop me from running. Okay, so I'm going to take its queen. It's going to take my queen. Um, I've got to be able to win this somehow. Okay, so yeah. Here we go. I just beat level 7. Well, that's pretty cool. So, I run an analysis against level 7, or on that game I just played. Um, <laughs> there's a button called Irrelevant Chess Quote. I hadn't even noticed that. That's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of strategy to this game. Um, And by strategy, I just mean longer-term tactics. Um, so Stockfish, level 7, made three inaccuracies, a mistake, and two blunders. Blunder 1 was knight to d6. How is that a blunder? Okay. I guess my king just gets too close to the edge or something. I, I can't tell. This analysis doesn't isn't deep enough. Um, I need to run deeper analyses. Okay. So I'll wait. Yeah, I'll just wait until later to grind analyses on Leech's instance. Maybe there's some way I can... Um, I, I could try toying with some very values and evaluations that Stockfish makes. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. So there are past pawn bonuses. Could maybe piggyback on some of that somehow. So rather than having a past pawn bonus, I'm going to have a past king bonus.
Okay, yeah, I know what I can do. Oh, welcome. The point of this chess variant um, is you're trying to get your king to the other side of the board. It's a race. Oh no. I did something which caused recompilation or something to happen. That's sad. Whatever I did was not intentional. Um, and yet somehow I seem to have broken something. Well, that didn't take long. Um, yeah, my server stopped. Um, I think it's just deploying new code, although I didn't change any code, so... Caused by ask timeout. Leela lobby actor API hooks for... Um, damn it. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what this error message means. But since I don't know, I'm just going to stop the server and start it again. Uh, how could that have happened? And just for... Yeah, it's just an internal server error. Some, it was trying to do something in the lobby, just the home page that you've all seen, you're all familiar with. Something just completely messed up. Um, all right, so it's deploying new code apparently. I don't remember changing any code, but it thinks something changed. That's too bad. That's really a shame, because this was working well just a minute ago. Um, Unfortunately, it's really difficult to get... I have a Chromebook on which I'm doing the coding, and I'm just using this um, PC over here for streaming. So getting the error messages to communicate between the two machines so I can put it up on stream is a little tricky. But give it a couple minutes, this will be back up. Um, but yeah, I just created... Well, we just released a new variant they call Racing Kings. And today, um, I made an AI that's capable of playing this variant and deployed it on my instance. And now I'm looking for people to help me test it. Um, yeah, Bullet is rough. It's a lot more difficult than people give credit for. And when you play it well, people don't recognize it either. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I'd be glad if you could help me test it. Um, let me see. Is it still deploying stuff? Compiling 3, compiling 6. Um, I think it's probably just trying to recompile everything in the whole darn site. But um, it should only take a few minutes. Um... Yeah, and feel free to challenge any of the eight AI levels and at any time control. I'm just looking to throw as many games at it as possible and better understand um, how to improve it. And I'm not sure what in the world happened that could have caused uh, such a critical failure. Uh, no class def found error. Scala lib regex. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that even matters. <laughs> Compiling 87 Scala sources. Um. Yeah, go to the link in the stream title. Admittedly, the server is down at the moment. It's still redeploying code. Actually, how do I know that it's down? Um, it's just, the last message I got was that it's compiling 87 source code files. And I have an expectation that it's down, but how do I prove it? Um, okay, so I'm trying to load it up in my browser here. Hopefully, oh, it's back up, guys. It's back up. 
Sorry about the delay. I have no way of re-adding time to your clock. What happened there? Oh, yeah, we just lost the Lee Chess TV. Not a big deal. I'm going to start a game against the AI, and we'll verify that the TV's back. Um, okay, let me refresh this. There we go. There's my game with the AI. Um, it's going to kill me. It's so going to kill me. So what, I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to duplicate what it does. There's no way this could possibly go wrong other than every way possible and imaginable. Um, okay, I can take that. Okay, I cannot take the bishop. And the bishop can't take my queen. Um, I could take the knight, though. Why would I not just take the knight? Okay. What's going on? Uh, let's move the king. Just keep moving. Okay, and protect my queen. So it can't check me. It's the thing I'm kind of counting on here. Um, Alright, so I can't take its queen. It can't take my queen. We have kind of a... Uh, not a stalemate, but... Mm, I'm not sure what to call it. We've got a situation on our hands. And I'm trying to muscle my king down the board. Um, okay, so how do I get my king around that queen? That seems like a really huge problem. Um, oh, okay, you can't play or anything. Um... If you want, I could try redeploying things yet again. Maybe that would help. Uh, I guess that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I, I actually, I don't know. Like, why does it work on my computer and some people's computers, but not yours? Uh, it's. I need a little more information somehow, although I don't know how. Okay, so. I need to get my king... Oh, we got another game in progress there. Very good. Um, so... It's a tricky game. Um, <laughs> Alright, so we're back on my game. Um, I still haven't found a way to get my king to move forward. I mean, sometimes you do have to step backwards to get forward, but... Yeah, I don't know how to get any further than this. Um... I'm just very confused. So if I could just take that damn bishop, that would solve all my problems, but I don't have any way to take it. I mean, queen g3 would normally be checkmate, um, but here it is not. Um, okay, we'll try moving my king the other way. Okay. Oops! Oh no! No! <laughs> okay, I forgot about that. You win, Stockfish. Again. Okay. Well. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'm gonna analyze that game and see, like, what else did I miss? Uh, okay. Oh. Wait, what? No, the link in the stream title. No. Um, 
I'll see if I can find what's the link in my own stream title. Uh, let me find it. It's there somewhere. I'm just technology challenged at the moment. Here we go. Copy. Yeah, no worries. Do what you like. It's just, um, I'm confused about your confusion, because I, I thought I'd been saying look at the stream title, but um, if that doesn't send you to the right thing, I don't know what's going on. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll get this AI integrated into tournaments pretty soon, too, so people can compete and show up on leaderboards and play each other and analyze games and all the fun stuff you'd ever want to do. Hopefully that'll be soon. Um, so, I'm just looking at my last game. Yeah, I did pretty well until I dropped my queen. Apparently I wasn't winning until... Well, I had an advantage on move 16. How so? How did I have any advantage there? It's possible that's just a glitch in the matrix. Um, oh. Uh, move 16. Queen c3, pinning a bishop to a, a king. Uh, what's the big deal here? How is this in any way relevant? Um, tactics in this variant are hard. Okay, so I need my queen to lead the attack, or the charge. Um, but even with my king on the 7th, it's not clear what's going on. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right. So here we're looking at Kazuva in an epic battle with level 8. And this one actually does look difficult. Um, one thing to bear in mind is that check is illegal in this variant. So that's why Stockfish chases the queen with the bishop. Um, because the bishop can take the queen, however the rook cannot take the queen. It, I don't know why it's shuffle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the queen can't take the queen because that would be check. Um, but if white ever moves his king, then some interesting possibilities occur. But, yeah. Actually, one thing I need to change for this variant is um, get rid of the concept of king safety. We don't need it. If anything, king safety is a hindrance, not a help. Um, so, let me take a look at what we got. Actually, I don't want to risk whatever it is that caused the server to get disrupted earlier. So I'm going to leave this be and let you guys challenge it and have fun with it. Um, I do suspect that something about the king safety algorithm doesn't make any sense for this variant, but I don't know that it needs to. Uh, might be helpful if it did. <laughs> there we go. MC JGP test. Just wallops on level two. I think. I think that's what happened. If not, I might need to get my eyes checked. Um. You could be nine again. There we go. Dude, this used to be this kind of um, neon glow atmosphere thing used to be a bigger thing. Admittedly, not in my day, but um, this used to be pretty big. It looks easy. I mean, 
so it's still able to do tactics and stuff. It just uh, has a search depth limit, which is really constraining. Um, I'm confused. What happened here? All right, so MC's running up the board and wins. There we go. Stockfish level eight is awful at three check, you say. Uh, if you could inform me, I would appreciate it. Um, I've been working on that, I've been testing it a lot, and I have, um, actually no, I've been focused mainly on King of the Hill and Atomic and Horde, so I haven't looked at 3-check much lately. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a good chance it is pretty awful. Um, hopefully the ratings will t help us tell whether or not it has to be improved. Um. Oh, it fails to multiple sacrifices. Like, okay, yeah, I could imagine that. Um, so, yeah, I'll see if I can... I'll go to Leeches, download one of the games against some high-rated player that it plays, and analyze that over here and see... Well... Just keep running tests until um, it more quickly finds these combos. Um, it's quite possible that in merging in some of the Stockfish 7 uh, code, the features were lost. And the features were added too, but it's possible that features relevant to that 3-check variant were lost. Let me take a look at official Stockfish and see like what I'm missing. Um, what are the last three commits to official Stockfish that presumably fix some issues? Um, oh. Oh, would you look at that. Here, I'll copy the link here. So this is something I've got to improve. Um, I've got to pull that improvement into my project. Um, yeah, yeah, now I agree that in Horde and in 3-check it has a long, long way to go. Um, and that's part of why I put this site together, was to help me run some tests and figure out, uh, well, just collect a lot of test positions and run AIs against other AIs. And I've been really struggling at the second part of that. Yeah, there actually is. Um, it's not publicly available because there's skepticism about how well it performs. But really, the main point of my developing these wasn't to make them compete. It was so they could point out things that human players who want to actually not suck at the game. Um, uh, they would point out all the things that they're missing. And so they will suck less after it points out their mistakes and they stop making it these mistakes. Uh, you know, MC, I just made the AI today. I just started the stream like 30 minutes ago. I have only played against levels 1 and 8, and I know 1 is bad and 8 is good. So I don't know where it starts getting decent. Um, I assume that white wins more often than black, although I don't even know. It would be hilarious to find that um, if black were to win more. Also, um, it's worthy of note that Stockfish evaluates the start position as being pretty even. Although that might not be too worthy of note, because, I mean, most of Stockfish's evaluations aren't exactly right for this variant anyhow. I'm just doing the stream to let you know, by the way, this is out here, you guys can have some fun playing it, probably kick its butt a few times and get kicked around too if, you, if it somehow gets lucky. Um, 
Yeah, the Horde AI would have to look really deep. Right now I'm limiting its search depth to 34 half moves. Um, the official site limits it to like 12, which I think is ridiculous. Um, but if you play against it on this site, it'll look a lot deeper and not miss so many combinations. Um, but it's using the same amount of computing power as it uses on the production site uh, per game. Not t in total, but per game it uses the same like time and memory and all that. I'm imposing those same limitations per game. Um, however, I am changing the search parameters so it's not forced to limit its search depth. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! This happened to me, too. Damn it, Stockfish, what the hell are you doing? Oh, damn you, Stockfish. Oh. Okay, that's pretty funny. Oh, wait, that's level 3. Okay, I can actually understand why level 3 would suck at that. <laughs> Yeah, level 3 doesn't search deep enough to find the win. And I've left no clues for it that indicate that it needs to move the king forward. That hasn't been coded yet, and when I did try to start coding that, the site went down last time. So, I'm kind of allergic to coding it and trying to improve that at this point. That was hilarious, though. So yeah, tenacity will score you half points and full points against this AI. Uh, ratings are there for a reason. It's not just to show off. It's to actually help gauge progress. And so it's got to start at some number, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty hilarious. For a minute there, I thought it said Stockfish level 8 instead of Stockfish level 3, and I'm thinking, well, shit. <laughs> but no, this is good. This is all good. Um... Yeah, obviously there's room for improvement, but I think like people can import their games into the server too, or play against this, and hopefully learn a lot either way they choose to use it. I hope I do remember to highlight that. That was hilarious. That was perfect. Oh, wow. Holy moly. This is cool stuff, man. And I'm the only one who understands it, but, um, yeah, that thing I'm linking to. Absolutely brilliant that um, and I would have to go into like a half hour digression on how engines work to explain why that's so brilliant but that's pretty awesome what else am I missing it's really a shame that I'm missing that because that could help um, okay now that's the main change um, yeah, I, shit, I don't want to take this down, but yeah, I saw. Uh, it's actually watching MC's game, but I saw. Um, I think I had your game over here on the side. And I was looking over that too. Let me pull that up on my computer. Uh, over here. Let's see, you won this on move twenty. Um, wow, that's quite the race. And you took your queen, too, so early in the opening, and you managed to beat it anyway. That's pretty hilarious, so... Oh, because it's, um... Wait, why didn't it just take your rook? Oh, because, uh... 
That's brilliant. Well played. I'm going to bookmark that. That's one of my favorite games here. That's an excellent, excellent test game for me to figure out um, why the AI um, isn't perfect yet. The fact that you beat it in 20 moves and you were down material and it arguably probably in a worse position but pulled it out, that's pretty awesome. Um, that makes me reevaluate how much a bishop is really worth. Um, yeah, that rook a8 move is really hard to find. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of non-checking, non-capturing moves in this sequence. <laughs> it's really anxious to take that bishop on f1 or on c1. It really likes taking that. Um, okay, and I guess I get some kind of magnetism to the bishop here. That makes sense, but having a single bishop is not nearly as valuable as having the bishop pair. Um, Yeah, that's game. Stockfish really doesn't take to the idea of, um, really, just really doesn't understand how a king and a knight can apparently shut out an entire army. I did not realize what a dangerous combination a king and a knight were. That's really awesome. So probably, given that MC is managing to pummel on it on level 3, and he's playing brilliantly to do it, um, somewhere between level 3 and level 4 is where it gets really difficult. And then it just continually gets more difficult from there. Um, but probably plays decently. Is able to beat typical human players, probably on level 3 or 4. That's... It's not exactly what I was going for. Um, I was probably going for it would need to be on level uh, probably five or six to reliably beat average people. So it's actually probably too strong at those lower levels. Probably need to tune that a little bit.
still doesn't know that moving the king up is... Okay, well, it might centralize the king, though. It might randomly happen upon the... No, it's not gonna figure this out. Who am I kidding? Sorry about that, MC. I'm not meaning for it to troll players, but apparently it just doesn't know how to win. Oh, we got the king to b4. Come on. Move the king higher up the board. And then randomly find the winning sequence. Or don't. Okay, well... Yeah, it's one of those where no matter how much you mouse slip and how many pieces you hang, it just won't beat you. Uh, I'm just kidding, just kidding. But um, it kills me all the time here too. Um, Well, part of the reason, yeah, that strategy... Oh, that's interesting. Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it pulled that same thing on you that it tried to do to me, or did to somebody else, too. Where this, the rook on the second rank just eats everything alive, and it's, yeah, it's, it's an interesting idea. Um, but yeah, one thing you learn is that um, you can make your pieces immune by ensuring that their capture would check your king. So your king is actually really effective at protecting pieces. Um, it's one little side effect of the way the rules are written where it says you just can't check your opponent. Well, that in turn means that they can't take pieces when doing so would be check. Um, Yeah, that and that whole rook taking stuff on the second rank because rook takes rook as check. Is, I mean, that I figured out too, but uh, yeah, I've been kind of floundering thinking of ideas for this. Um, I'm sure there are some, I'm just not thinking of them. Yeah, that's definitely interesting, especially what you guys showed me, that a king and a knight can fight off pretty much the entire opposing army um, once you get really far up the board. And yeah, I'm trying to follow along and calculate all the tactics, too. There's just so much. So much going on in this variant. Um, if I remember right, um, Unihadron wrote a blog post. Um, and this post contained an image that showed, like, rooks cutting kings off along ranks. And the king could try like one or two different routes to make it all across the board, one being diagonally, one being just vertically. 
Um, yeah, now that's a good question. Like, how much is each piece worth? Especially if queens are traded or if they're not traded. I got a similar position to this in my game, and I didn't know what to do with it. Um, well, it's queen and bishop versus queen and bishop. And I'm convinced it was a draw, but Stockfish is telling me, eh, I'm not so sure, so... Yeah, um, the knight can pretty much block all the squares of the queen. Yeah, that's definitely true. Oh, but you're saying, yeah, if the queens are traded, then the knight isn't as valuable as the bishop anymore. That probably makes sense. Um, yeah, if, especially if the rooks and the queens get traded, then bishops definitely um, put up a better fight than knights do. Well, <laughs> looks, oh, it does, still doesn't know to advance its king. It's just going to lurk at b4 and not win. That's too bad. If it would just randomly move its king up to c5 once in a while, it might accidentally stumble on the winning idea. It's on b5. No, no, it went back. No. Ah. Okay. That was close. It was three squares away. You were one square away. Um, that's pretty cool. In fairness, it's difficult for us to see one move ahead with pieces in this unfamiliar configuration. Like, if there were pawns still on the board, that would help us figure out where the pieces move. But since there are absolutely no pawns anywhere on the board, all the pieces are free to move anywhere, and it's just complete and total mayhem. It's like if Chess Whiz had come up with a variant, this is what that variant would be. Just all the pieces hanging at once and um, no real way to resolve the tension in a meaningful way so you need to like I don't know it's just a lot of guesswork well, we got the king up some ranks I am going to dare to do a little bit of coding. Hopefully this won't cause that havoc that we saw a few minutes ago where the server just stopped, but if it did, then maybe I need to move on. But I need to get this coding working. Um, so I'm gonna learn a thing or two about how to use git here. Uh,
Okay, and how do I verify that I've merged the changes successfully? Uh, I want to look at one of my files, see that it contains the right code. Okay, so that is in place. Um, well, I've merged the official Stockfish 7 changes um, into my code. Now to make a build. It's building. And once it's built, um, try deploying that on top of the live instance. Hopefully I'm getting better and better at doing this deployment stuff. Um, okay. Come on. There we go. All right. Um, sorry. Oh. Okay, the game's still in progress, by some miracle, um, maybe, yeah, wow, that was a successful deployment then. It's the first time I've deployed in the middle of a game, but it appears to have gone gracefully, so yeah, I'll take it, alright. So next up, I need to address this ludicrous thing that's happening um, with respect to the kings here. And they're not promoting, or not getting considered as promotion threats. Actually, I don't want to copy all that, or in fact, most of it. Um, Oh, man, look at that. It just keeps moving. It's uh, a lot of moves. Oh, wait, did it just win? Holy moly, it got lucky. Okay, so I guess at level 5 is where it starts to get serious. Until then, it's just screwing around, which is interesting. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Sorry for getting distracted in code for a minute there. I'm scrolling back up. What did I miss? 
Yeah, we got a new variant, guys. Although you said that already. Yeah, running kings, racing kings, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, there was a moment earlier this stream where it appeared that some illegal moves were going on because so many moves got played so very rapidly. Um, the board got confused as to which pieces were moving. I was most amused, but I don't know about you. Um, So I'm trying to teach it right now to uh, understand um, uh, the value of a king that's advanced beyond the first rank.
Venice in the chat window. Yeah, Stockfish has a lot of tactics. It's really weak, super ultra weak strategy wise. Um. <laughs> Is it hard to program? Well, the one thing that made this a lot easier and made it possible to do this in a single day is the fact that I've already programmed King of the Hill. And this variant has a great deal in common with King of the Hill, minus the nuance that checks are just variable to you cannot check your opponent. That's where things got complicated. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this works great. Um, this is pretty straightforward. I got the. I actually did a stream earlier today showing most of my coding. Uh, I did have a breakthrough afterward while I was trying to debug things, and unfortunately that was off stream, but what can you do, right? Um, so. Thing here. I don't think so. I think I got it. I think this is good enough to at least give it a try. Hopefully that doesn't... okay. Yeah, that fluke that happened earlier where the server just stopped. Um, I have no idea what that was about. Um, but apparently my attempts at coding right now don't seem to cause any problems, so I'm just going to keep going forward. Uh, What's the idea with past file? Outside files are worth more. I'm not sure that I want that. Because um, a king on the outside might... Mm. Yeah, it's actually easier to stop a king that's um, on an outside file. You know what, I'm going to try it the way it was coded. Um, uh, but I have to deal with my compilation error. G and the B file have a lot of promotion squares, so that makes a lot of sense, at least, yeah, I agree. Uh, you can always try to tune this later. Um, Seeing if there's anything else I can use. Nope. So. Um, yeah, let me just run this for the start position and see what I see. Uh, set option. 
Oh, I don't have the start position readily available. Um, huh. Okay, so start position. There's no bonus. Oh wait, no, both sides are getting a very small bonus for having a king on the second rank that's unopposed. Not that there is any way to oppose the king. The king is always going to be considered the same way that the past pawn would be considered, but that's good. I see both sides are getting a bonus. Uh, in terms of static evaluation, that's the wrong starting position. Why don't I just try, um, here we go, let's try that, and do an evaluation. Yeah, the starting position is even in terms of static evaluation, it's just dead, completely even. King safety is a concern, although I don't know that it needs to be. Um, so I'm going to take a look at evaluate.cpp and see what can I do um, what can I do regarding king safety Probably safe to turn off King Safety altogether uh, for this variant. Not for all variants, just this one. safety stuff. More or less disabled. What do I see? Oh, actually, I didn't disable it properly. Yeah, I know I need to go back and fix what I just coded. Um, safety stuff as opposed to just leaving its default values in place. Okay, so we got another ugh, another win by the AI. Humanity's chances look bleaker every minute. That's too bad. Um, now why am I still getting a king safety evaluation in the start position?
So, what's setting the King Safety Evaluation? Okay, so all of the evaluation stuff is embedded inside evaluate.cpp in one way or another. Um, so I just need to look through everything here until I find where is King Safety determined. It might not even be determined in this file, but I thought it was. Okay, so yeah, here we're talking about King Safety. I see it. King Shelter, an enemy pawn store. Main King Safety evaluation. Um, if anything, I kind of want to reverse that evaluation. Actually, no, that doesn't help to reverse the valuation, but I need to greatly decrease the strength of it. Um, because a king that's being harassed is still perfectly A-OK, -okay. it's just that you won't be able to advance any further. Um, hmm... Maybe it's not so bad. Maybe I don't care about King's safety one way or the other. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, Stockfish AI level 6 is too strong. I agree. Yeah. And we'll see if I can tune any of the lower levels to be... Well, I need to tune this somehow one way or another. It's pretty extreme how it stands at the moment, um, and obviously I need to make some progress uh, one way or another with it, I just don't know what. Um, but yeah, I think I can probably just leave the King Safety function alone, um, meaning I think I'm pretty happy with my, oh, never mind, I don't want to go changing stuff that should be changed. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's try compiling and deploying. And yeah, as uh, the new AIs become available, or sorry, as the tournaments be become capable of handling this new variant, so too my AI could play in tournaments on my own instance and maybe play against itself. We'll see if that comes sooner or later. Um, uh, in the meantime, let me redeploy the AI once more. Uh, let's try, there we go.
there's my command. It's successfully redeployed. It's good. Um, I could start running some statistics and other things here. Um, for example, I could go into AI level eight or level six. Let's see if we got some leech us insights to go generate. And yep, yep, yep. You know your strengths and weaknesses, etc. cetera. Uh, by variant, let's play bullet and blitz. Um, average sent upon loss by variant. Is this filtered by specific variants? And if not, oh, I see. It just doesn't aggregate uh, that variant yet. That's too bad. Yeah, eventually this will become a, well, this is in the process of being deployed and such. Um, and as it becomes a first citizen variant, um, we'll be able to do insights and such on it, which would be fun. Um, note that AI level six does in fact use computer assistance. Who knew, right? So Racing Kings, 2,047. That's pretty damn strong. I might need to weaken that just a touch. Either that or it just recognizes what an intensely difficult game this is for people and how the AI just handles it a lot simpler. Um, weak points or holes in the opponent's position must be occupied by pieces not pawns. I mean, pawns look menacing, but yeah. Ultimately, a piece has to deliver the blow to checkmate the king. Where have I been? I don't know. Been somewhere. I'll have to check that out. Your Mario session. You played some Mario? What kind of Mario? Also, why is this not done yet? Where's my analysis? I want it to be done. I want to see it. Show me it now. Okay, it's still going. Oh, now it's done. <laughs> yeah, this is how most graphs tend to look, where it just bam, it spikes, and it's just done. Um, I'm going to make another change, if I may. Oh, somebody's playing a game? Is that right? Um, anyhow, here, yeah, knight g4 is a blunder, better is bishop f6, um, knight g4 got played, and it just took the knight. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely tricky to beat the AI in blitz time controls, because you're going to hang pieces, it's just going to happen. Um, let me go through one of these draws that happened. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, here's a draw. Oh, 20 moves. Okay. Both players made it to the other side. Fisher, Fisher sacrificed virtually everything. Most of us uh, uh, value, respect, and cherish for the sake of an artful, often beautiful board game. Yeah. That's an interesting quote. I mean, that is kind of how I feel about the person. Um, wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I forgot. That's an important boundary condition. Just because one king makes it to the other side doesn't mean it instantly. Okay, fine. I get it now. Um, so, yeah, that's actually going to be tricky to code, to fix. Um, in most cases, this shouldn't matter, but that is a pretty funny boundary condition. I forgot that, yeah, king to the other end of the board does not end the game if the opposing side 
the second player is able to do that. Um, <laughs> that's actually going to be quite a nightmare to code, and I'm, I'm already fearing it. But whatever. It's just a game. No need to panic. So yeah. Oh, how many games do we have in progress at the moment? Um, we've got one game in progress. Okay. I don't want to interrupt any single game. Uh, wait, what's that knight doing there? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. I'm less confused now. That's a really good trap. I'm going to have to remember that. That being bishop d4 followed by knight takes c2. That is one awfully nasty trap. And I guess it's somewhat easily averted, but who knew? Oh, I see. It's not that Racing Kings doesn't appear in Insights. It's that um, most players haven't played enough games for it to actually show up in the Insights portal. Um, <laughs> average sent upon loss by variant. Uh, for AI level 8, it's over an average of 10 pawns. Um, and that's just the average. Wait. No, I'm sorry. I'm misreading that entirely. Um, how am I supposed to read the graph? Average sent upon loss of 56.5. Um, oh. And that's over a total of 40 moves. So I guess you typically... <laughs> no, it's just played 40... Man, I don't understand the graph at all. I guess it's an average of 56.5 cent upon loss. And hopefully I can revise that downward. Um, of the variants it's played on this server for AI level 8, it's weakest at Racing Kings. Followed by Atomic, Horde, and I guess Correspondence. I didn't even know people played it in that, but um, hopefully as it plays more games, that average loss is going to decline. Every draw it scores is definitely going to count sharply upward against its average loss, so hopefully it doesn't score too many draws. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see, can I view this in anonymous mode? Oh, you, you also played Mario Kart in addition to Mario 3. Awesome, that sounds fun. Um... Yeah, Lee Chess is always rapidly evolving. Not always at the pace, or not in the direction that some people want, and they're quite vocal about, but it does evolve, and given it time and energy and such, it's it'll get where it needs to go. Uh, either that, or because it's open source, competitors will arise, also do the whole open source thing, and um, do well, I guess. Oh, I see, yeah. That rook could play rook f8. In fact, the bishop already covers h8, so there's no promotion threat. Yeah, that makes sense that white would resign there.
There's the queen trap. Cheeky little stockfish finds silly queen traps. <laughs> Number one Mario fan. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I can't wait until um, the tournament system supports this variant. Obviously, there's some work to do, but um, I think that would help encourage more people to play if they showed up on multiple leaderboards, not just on the rating leaderboard. Um, so yeah, perhaps, I don't know, maybe this weekend I'll try, like, playing some of this variant on official Lee Chess and, um, see where things go. Oh, I get it. So average sent upon loss is based on analyzed games. So if I don't analyze all of its games, its average sent upon loss is not going to change. That's the deal. Um, so. Huh. Okay. Yep, if I just do some computer analyses on these games. Um, should be able to update Lee Chess Insights later. In fact, Lee Chess Insights update post analysis anyhow, so yeah, that analysis just completed. If I redisplay the graph, I should see like 56.4. No. But yeah, basically the more games of AI level 8 that I analyze. Um, ooh. The lower its um, average sent upon loss should be, one hopes. And thanks. Um, Yeah, I guess some of the reason that its average sent upon loss is so incredibly high is that most of the games I've analyzed have been its losses. So meanwhile... Um... Hmm. So rook takes bishop, I suppose, is the threat. I don't know what you do about that. Obviously, bishop d6 is illegal. Yeah, bishop b8 is clever. Because now only the white queen can take the bishop, and it's a bit of a trek for that queen to get anywhere near the bishop. However, bishop b5 seems to be Zugzwang. Um... Clever little stockfish. Although, yeah, rook b3 tries to keep the king away. Um, that rook on c7 is still pinned. Man, this is confusing. Okay, so, oh. Um, I guess rook takes rook. Well, no, that's ugly, but what else do you try? Uh, because you can't do bishop takes rook, and if you... Maybe bishop a7. But yeah, then rook takes rook happens, so yeah. Okay, and key question is, is there a way to the back rank? I'm supposing there isn't, but maybe there is. Yeah, no, this, this is looking sad. Um...
Honestly, um, I intend to make this... Well, one thing I can recommend is try playing again, or running the engine analysis, like the computer analysis after the game. Uh, just hit the tab uh, below the board that says computer analysis, then hit the button to request one, and it'll point out tactical errors. But um, in terms of resources for people who want to get started with this game for the first time, this variant was released just today. Um, there are no resources or videos or anything just yet. And I expect that people will be producing them in the days and weeks to come, but um, in the meantime, the best you can do, I think, is just run analyses after game's end. And I am going to try to weaken level 3 a bit, just because this is a really tough game. Um, it's unexpectedly difficult. So let me try looking at the updated insights graph. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's average sent upon loss per move is going down the more games it plays. That's fortunate. Oh, you meant a regular chess um, AI level 3. I forgot, that is a thing. Yeah, um, go to uh, the video page. Uh, there's all kinds of videos there that are supposed to be more instructive in nature. Um, personally, because I can beat AI level 3, I find that those videos don't do anything for me. But perhaps they will do something for people um, who want to learn more fundamental parts of the game. I mean, it's really easy to discover videos that talk about how do you checkmate with a king and a queen, or how do you promote with a king and a pawn, and um, there's a lot of those videos on the internet. And this portal, leechess.org slash video, uh, tries to gather the best of those, so you don't have to watch them all. Um, so maybe some of that will help.
see it. Oh, by the way, I just made public the insights page for um, uh, for AI level eight. So if you want to go monkey around with those graphs and see like what are all the latest trends in AI stuff, have at it. You're more than welcome to um, try that out. I should probably log in with all the other AI levels and do the same thing. Uh, so let me do that. Sign in. Okay, that's not cool. Okay, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Why can't I log in? And why did the game also stop like that? Something just... No, okay. It's just a matter of somebody's turn. impressed. What happened? Um, well, let me see who's been logging into my server. give a GM title to the AI. That would be special. Um, no, there's no suspicious activity. chess master title to all the AI levels. That'd be fun. Um, yeah, but apparently I've seriously forgotten the password to the account. Either that or the password has just stopped working. terribly confused about what that means. Um, other than I can't go enable insights for all the other accounts. That's too bad. So we're only going to get to see it for AI level 8 until such time that I figure out how to address that. Yeah, I could give it a GM title. I mean, it's almost earned it, but not quite. It still has needs to go to over-the-board tournaments and play against people from various countries and not use engine assistance. But, you know, other than that, it's basically a GM. I don't know, but Lee Chess Master actually kind of sounds appropriate somehow.
right? So what else is new in the world? Um, I was in the middle of doing some interesting changes. Oh, I need to be able to run AI versus itself. Or rather, I should play against the lower AI levels and see if they can successfully beat me. There are two games in pro progress. Um, I think one of them is just a normal blitz game. Yeah, normal one and a half minute plus two second blitz game. Which appears to have concluded with a checkmate, but is still considered in progress somehow. No, well, that one looks pretty done to me. I can stick a fork in that one, it's done. Um, so, I'm gonna try my hand against uh, level three and see if it can figure out how to win. Okay, I go first, setting a trap. Oh, it moves the bishop away so I don't win the queen. That's really good. I mean, expected would be another word, but good is a good word. Um, right. Oh, I can't check. That's right. Um, okay, let's get the king moving. can I do? Surely it recognizes how dangerous this position is. Also, am I not winning its queen? No, I'm not, because that rook can move to take my knight. Oh, but then I get the queen. Oh, but I can't take the queen. Okay, fine be that way. Um, uh, take everything. Take them all. Alright. Queen takes queen. And king up. Nice. So I can still beat AI level 3 in Racing Kings. So it's not insanely overpowered. Um, Oh wow. Chess Network has done a video about racing kings. <laughs> Very cool. Avoid the crowd. Do your own thinking independently. Be the chess player, not the chess piece. Ralph Sherell. I don't know the person. That's an interesting quote. Be the player, not the piece. Do things differently. Be unique, just like everybody else. Um. Holy moly. <laughs> I thought I played a decently good game, but apparently my average sin upon loss is over a point. That's just how difficult this variant is. Um, that's pretty intense. Not gonna lie. Okay, well... Well, well, well. I need some way to determine whether well, my change is an improvement or not. Um, but AI level 3 didn't beat me. Let me try playing AI level 3 again. And, you know, maybe it'll beat me this time. Okay, again, I get the white pieces somehow. Um, oh, I 
I see, I see. Now I'm connecting the dots here. Okay, so I took its queen. Uh, it's kind of trapping my king. And it played its king to take my knight. I was otherwise wondering why did it move its king downward. There's not really any point in being on that corner of the board. Oh, crap. It took my rook. That was not nice. Stockfish, why you gotta take my pieces, bro? Um... Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's clever. Wait. Did it just trap my queen? No. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm having a difficult time accepting that it just trapped my queen. So I offer to trade my queen for its rook, and it declines the offer. Uh, I'm so puzzled by why it didn't... Okay, I've got to take the rook then. Um, okay. Didn't take my queen, but what can I do? Okay, so it's very sternly preventing me from moving my king forward. Much unlike earlier games where it didn't really care about that sort of thing. So I'm going to conclude somehow that what I've coded is better than what used to be. Um, don't know how I'm going to reach that conclusion, but um, somehow I'm going to get there. And, okay, that was much tougher level 3 than it used to be. So just based on my own perception, I'm going to say that my change, which gives bonuses based on how far advanced the king is, um, actually makes sense. Audiokin is a poet who creates a work of art out of something that would hardly inspire another man to send home a picture postcard. Max Oiva. It's a work of art out of something that would hardly inspire another man to send home... Okay. Yeah. It creates a work of art. I guess that's a compliment. Um, that he recognizes the greatness or beauty in something and transforms that into being something far greater than its parts. Uh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's one heck of an evaluation graph. Um, yeah, apparently me offering to trade my queen for a rook is not a very bright move. Evidently, it can just take my queen. Oh, yeah, of course, and my king can't go anywhere. Um... And that's cool.
Okay. Well, well, well. Um, so AI level 8's been playing some more games here. I'm gonna go update insights for AI level 8, because why not? Um... Oh, but first I have to evaluate some more games, right? Wouldn't do to crunch some insights numbers without actually looking at a game. Um... Chess opens and enriches your mind. Saudim Robovic. I'm not familiar. Huh. Okay. Well, it's still crunching some numbers. Oh, that well, should be done analyzing this game. Um. AI level 8 made two inaccuracies in an entire game. The first was uh, allegedly missing a forced checkmate sequence, or a forced win sequence, where king c5 would have worked better than king d5 somehow. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but at any rate. Uh, second was when it didn't take the fastest possible win. But, okay, these things are understandable. I still have to deal with that one boundary condition where it can draw because it doesn't recognize that um, if both kings make it to the other side that that's actually a draw. Uh, and that's not going to affect most games, but in some critical positions it's going to be a big deal. So, uh, anything else? I think we're good. Alright, I was going to update um, the insights. So let me go do that. I analyzed the long game. I'm going to update insights. Average sent upon loss per move 45.6. So yeah. Average is going down because it's playing some good moves. Um, contrast that with Horde and Atomic where it still has a long way to go. Particularly in Atomic where openings are a huge, huge deal. Um, and in Horde where I don't even know why. But apparently it's hovering at around 30 cent upon loss per move. Um, yeah, on average. And I, I have no idea. It doesn't make any sense to me, but as it plays more games, maybe I'll better understand what's going on. Um, so let's see, who's winning this game? Um, both kings are pretty close. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say here. Obviously, a lot of those knight moves would be illegal. Um, so, yeah, it's, I mean, you would think that white would be better here somehow, just for having the queen, but um, black's rook is well placed. So it's not exactly obvious what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Oh no, Stockfish, you should not have done that. Oh, Stockfish, how could you do that to yourself? I know how. It's because you think that when your king gets to the top of the board, it's all over. Turns out that black gets one extra move in that case. And then it's over. Uh, what? No, dude, you... Uh, come on. Rook takes queen would have been a draw. Because both kings make it to the top, and when that happens, it's considered a draw. Stockfish doesn't know that yet. He could have had it. The world was yours for the taking, but 
we're all learning this and we're learning it together. And that's a beautiful thing too. Um, that all said, I've been streaming for quite a while. This has been fun. I'm going to leave the server running, but I personally need a break. I've been coding all these various improvements to the AI and to the LeechS server um, so that this will play better. And I think I've... Okay, I've never seen that before. I think I've maxed out how this works in terms of how it's going to perform. And... Um, Anything I could change in this 11th hour is probably just going to break something accidentally. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll s probably still stick around in the chat room. And if I miss something, I'll eventually reply to it there. Uh, if you want, uh, well, I was going to say send me messages on the Lee Chess interface, but you probably wouldn't know where to find me. And it's more trouble than it's worth there. Send me Twitch messages or whatever if you need to reach me. That's cool too. Um, other than that, just stick around and enjoy the party. Um, uh, the link that's in the stream title can be used to start games with the AI, but note also that all the links at the top of the Lee Chess page, the standard, like watch Lee Chess TV and the leaderboard and everything are still all there, so you can access just about everything there. Um, so it's all good fun. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.